Afghanistan is literally building a new river, 285 kilometers long, cutting through the desert and costing over $5 billion. Some say it'll save millions of lives. Others warn it could start a water war in Central Asia. So what's really happening behind the world's boldest desert project? Let's find out. Afghanistan faces one of the worst water crises in Asia. Most of its land is dry mountains and desert, and climate change has made droughts longer and harsher. The north holds the mighty Amu Darya River, but much of its water flows away to Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. For decades, Afghan farmers have asked one question. Why can't our own water feed our own land? In 2022, the Afghan government announced a historic plan, the Koshtepa Canal Project. It's a 285 kilometer long, 152 meter wide, 8.5 meter deep man-made river that will redirect part of the Amu Darya into the dry plains of Balkh, Jozjan, and Faryab provinces. The project aims to irrigate over 550,000 hectares of land and give thousands of families new farmland, food, and jobs. What's even more remarkable, it's being built entirely by Afghans using local engineers, machinery, and funding. For many, it's a symbol of independence and hope. But this dream project has a dark side. The Amu Darya doesn't belong to one country. It's shared by Afghanistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and Tajikistan. By diverting billions of cubic meters of water, Afghanistan could reduce the flow reaching its neighbors. Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan depend heavily on that water for their cotton fields and drinking supplies. Experts warn that the canal could spark diplomatic tensions, or even a regional conflict over water rights. Yet Afghan officials insist they are taking only a fair share of a river that naturally runs through their land. Building a canal through desert is not easy. Workers face sandstorms, heat, unstable soil, and limited access to modern engineering tools. Maintaining the canal will require constant dredging and lining to prevent water loss through seepage and evaporation. But despite all odds, progress continues. New satellite images show the canal stretching further each month. Supporters see the Kosh Tepa Canal as Afghanistan's lifeline, a way to transform deserts into fields, reduce food imports, and rebuild the economy. Critics, however, fear it could destabilize an entire region, drying rivers, harming ecosystems, and straining international relations. One thing is certain, this artificial river is more than concrete and water. It's a symbol of a nation's struggle to control its destiny. The world watches closely as Afghanistan carves a river through its deserts. Will it bring prosperity and stability, or trigger new conflicts over the most precious resource on Earth? water? Tell us in the comments, is the Kosh Tepa Canal a miracle of hope or a ticking time bomb? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to NeoFactX for more stories that reveal the hidden side of our changing world.